हेलो चिल्ड्रेन हव आर यू वेरी हैप्पी मॉर्निंग टू वन एंड ऑल आई होप यू ऑल सेफ एट होम एंड आई होप यू ऑल वेरी फाइन लास्ट क्लास वी सॉ इंग्लिश प्रिपोजिशन इन ओम पर्टिकुलरली एट इन ऑन आई एम श्योर दैट यू अंडरस्टूड वेरी वेल एंड वेर इट विल बी यूज इन द सेंटेंस बट टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू सी समथिंग इंटरेस्ट विच इज़ वेरी ईजी टू अंडरस्टैंड आई होप यू ऑल लाइक सी Just answer my question. Have you ever been on a long journey? Have you ever travelled through the forest? See, here is one person, a traveller, travelled through the forest. Suddenly, he stopped over there. Why did he stop there? Was he afraid? Let's see elaborately. See from your textbook, from your ninth standard textbook, first unit. the poem called stopping by woods on a snowy evening this poem was written by robert frost it is very simple and easy this poem contains some natural elements like a tree snow water like that you will like it while you read the poem and um, this poem also deals with appreciation of nature we all like nature you know we all like rain we all like snow we all like water these are all the elements in the poem stopping by woods on a snowy evening this poem was written by robert frost robert frost was an american poet noted for his realistic description of rural life he was born on 26 march 1874 He spent his first forty years as an unknown entity. He received Pulitzer prizes for poetry and was a special guest at President John F. Kennedy's inauguration. Robert Frost became a poetic force and the unofficial poet laureate of the United States. Some of his famous works are *The Road Not Taken*, *West Running Brook*, *Mending Wall*, *After Apple Picking*, and one more that. stopping by woods on a snowy evening that is also very special poem this poem deals with appreciation of nature see children this poem contains four stanzas let me read the poetic lines very clearly follow the lines if you have the textbook otherwise listen carefully i'm going to read whose woods these are i think i know his house is in the village though he will not see me stopping here to watch his woods fill up with snow second stanza my little hearts must think it queer to stop without a farm house near between the woods and frozen lake the darkest evening of the year third i'm going to read third stanza he gives his harness bells a shake to ask if there is some mistake the only other sounds the sweep of easy wind and downy flake last the fourth stanza the woods are lovely dark and deep but i have promises to keep and miles to go before i sleep and miles to go before i sleep here woods means trees One day on a snowy evening a traveler traveled through the forest with his horse where the trees are looking magnificent magnificent means beauty the woods are magnificent suddenly he stopped there he felt that someone asked him to stop actually he was stopped by the woods because the woods are so lovely and beautiful right and one more that it was a evening and snow covered land on looking this beautiful place he stopped there with his hearts let me explain the first stanza look at the lines whose woods these are i think i know it means at the beginning itself the traveler decided that the woods are belongs to someone and not only that see the second line his house is in the village though how would traveler know the owner of the woods would live in the village he confirmed for himself the owner's house in the village next we move on to the third and fourth line 
he will not see me stopping here to watch his woods fill up with snow the traveler wanted to feel and enjoy the moment so he said that the owner won't come and he won't disturb the traveler the traveler wanted to spend some time some quality time at night in the forest see <coughs> the traveler was attracted by the woods and he did not want any disturbances over there children do you understand the first stanza i'll tell you once again in short the traveler traveled through a forest through the forest and he was stopped there and thought that the owner would live in the village and the owner won't come into the woods to make any disturbances while the traveler was enjoying the moment okay next shall we move on to the second stanza yes i'll read the lines my little hearts must think it queer to stop without a farm house near between the woods and frozen lake the darkest evening of the year look at the first line my little hearts must think it queer it will be very strange to the hearts too the hearts might think why did his master stop there without any farm house or any horse stable while well, travel a long distance the hearts must be tired right and hearts also wanted to take some rest you know but here everything is strange unusual there is no farm house there is no grass no horse stable and the traveler thought the hearts will think why did the master stop in the woods near the lake where the water frozen the water in the lake frozen and snow covered like a mist because his master usually didn't stop in the forest near frozen lake and horse was worried about his master and his health the master and horse were good friends it was very strange to the horse to stop in the middle of the woods because his master master means the traveler never did this before next line the darkest evening i think the fourth line the darkest evening of the year the darkest evening of the year means it was the longest night of the year this line has some special explanation the winter takes 24 hours when the northern hemisphere has the shortest amount of daylight for the year and the longest amount of darkness so that it would be the darkest evening right that evening the traveler traveled through the forest next we move on to the third stanza i'm going to read the third stanza he gives his harness bells a shake to ask if there is some mistake the only other sound the sweep of easy wind and downy flake he gives he gives means the hearts when the traveler stopped there in the middle of the forest hearts shook his bell do you know why do you have any pet animals at home if you spend some time if you spend some quality time with them they'll be very close to you right obviously they understand if you're in danger likewise the hearts here shook his bell to ask was there any danger to the master to his master what a understanding between them the deep forest the dense forest with woods became so silent except the wind the wind blew mildly and snowflakes blew by the easy winds just imagine children when you were in the scene how would you feel isn't it amazing yeah that is what the moment the traveler enjoyed i'll read the third stanza once again he gives his harness bells a shake to ask if there is some mistake the only other sound the sweep of easy wind and downy flake next shall we move on to the last stanza the special words the woods are lovely dark and deep but i have promises to keep and miles to go before i sleep and miles to go before i sleep this line the wonderful lines ma the woods are lovely dark and deep 
but i have promises to keep and miles to go before i sleep and miles to go before i sleep at last this fourth this last stanza has a very special and deep meaning and tells the character of the poet it is very clear that the poet finds the forest very attractive and wants to spend some time there and he admire the surroundings but he has some work to complete and promises to keep if a parents give some work to do what will we do of course we will do the work right if you promise to someone won't you keep definitely you will keep the promises right likewise the poet also has promises to keep that promises he made to his loved ones and himself too this clearly shows that the poet the traveler he is so focused and professional the narrator narrator in the sense the traveler um the traveler ends the poem with the last two lines which has a deep meaning look at the lines and miles to go before i sleep and miles to go before i sleep here sleep means death he wants to go long and wants to keep the promise before is going to die see the traveler wants to stay in the dark and deep forest but he doesn't want stay long time because he is very sure that human being should appreciate nature and spend time with it and protect nature do you all understand the poem children overall the poem expresses the concept that one must concentrate on fulfilling his promises and accomplishing his duties without being distracted by the pleasures of life let me revise it in short a traveler traveled through the forest and stopped there and decided himself that he knows the owner of the woods and where he has been living where he has been living in the village and thought that the owner won't mind that the, the traveler watching the woods in the middle of the forest next the horse worried about his master why he had stopped in the forest without any farm house to take rest but only the woods and frozen lake horse shook his belt to ask there was any danger the winds blew smoothly and snow flakes spread over there while enjoying and appreciating the nature he suddenly remembers that he has promises to keep works to complete and wants to explore the world before he is going to die do you like the poem children in our life also we have some promises to keep and responsibilities to do i hope you will do your duty very consciously this is your memory poem children read the poem very well let me explain the new words in the poem first one woods woods i already told you know woods means trees next queer queer means curious very curious strange something unusual here the hours the word cure connected to the hours because um, suddenly the master stopped you know that was very queer to the hours it means strange unusual and frozen frozen you know cold unmelted and moving and finally one more word harness what is harness harness just like belt you know you might have seen in the heart's neck like a leather strap so that it can be attached to and pull the horse or cart let me read the poem once again what is the poem's title stopping by words on a snowy evening who is the poet robert frost now we'll read the lines whose woods these are i think i know his house is in the village though he will not see me stopping here to watch his woods fill up with snow my little heart must think it queer to stop without a farm house near between the woods and frozen lake the darkest evening of the year he gives his harness bells a shake to ask if there is some mistake the only other sound the sweep of easy wind and downy flake 
the woods are lovely dark and deep but i have promises to keep and miles to go before i sleep and miles to go before i sleep this is your memory poem children this is your first memory poem read the lines very clearly by heart it let me check okay i'll ask some questions whether you understood or right what was the poet's name the poet's name is robert frost where did they stop they stopped in the middle of the forest how did the lake look the lake looked frozen what is mean by sleep sleep means death do you like the poem children yes read the poem and enjoy thank you we will see next